Okay, we're going to check the flame sensor on this furnace. Uh, the flame sensor is the little white wire in the back back there with the ceramic piece coming right out of the top there with the one screw holding it in. And it runs down into the burners and it's that rod right there in the back that you can see that sits down into the flame. First thing we're going to have to do though is we have to remove that clip and we're going to use the alligator clips that we have on our meter to uh, check the flame sensor. Uh, I have to run it into series with the uh, uh, through the meter so that we can check uh, microamps and I'm going to do that hookup right now. Okay, I've removed the uh, wire. The white wire is now attached to the alligator clip right here and uh, going through the meter, going back in series, it runs back and it's attached to the other ends attached to the ceramic uh, above at the uh, spade clip there. Uh, going to the flame sensor, we're going to turn the furnace on and then turn my meter on to microamps and unit producer motor came on. The hot surface igniter should start to glow here in a second. First one meter is reading zero. Microamps, as you can see. Now the burner should come on. Okay. Well, there's a flame. Hot surface igniter has gone off. And you can see we're reading 3.9. Bouncing around a little bit. Seating up the uh, flame sensor. Anything between uh, 4 and 5 uh, all the way down to 2 is good. Uh, this flame sensor is almost spotless clean, hardly ever been run. So it runs good, we know it's run. Uh, to kind of show you that it, it shuts down, if I disconnect this wire um, uh, from the uh, flame sensor just shut down the burners, it's going to try to go through the cycle again. Um, hot surface igniter will come on and it'll try to light again and run but with this disconnected right here there's no way that it can run um, see it glowing light the burners shuts down. Alright, so very simple to check. Uh, just have to reconnect this right here and uh, it'll uh, run through its cycle again. So that's how you check a hot surface, uh, a uh, flame sensor, uh, make sure that it's sensing correctly. Okay, it's connected back up. It's going to go through its cycle. Runners come on, read zero. You can see it start to kick up. 3.5, um, 3.9. Flame sensor is working good. All right. Now, if the flame sensor is dirty, uh, it will lead lower on the microamps. So what you need to do is uh, polish it up with some steel wool and put it back in, and uh, they should get the reading back high up around four.